Hello and welcome. I am Jean Addis, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Apex, North Carolina. Today I'm going to share a little hand sanitizer holder with you. These hold the little pocket backs from Bath and Body Works. I got this pattern from another Stampin' Up! demonstrator named Twyla Davis. And it, it doesn't take a whole lot of preparation. It doesn't take a lot of time. And it also doesn't take a lot of supplies. So you're going to want to have a some cardstock, some decorative paper, about six inches of ribbon. And I've used Cajun Craze here and a piece from the uh, Gilded Autumn Specialty Pack. I've punched it with our delightful Tag Topper Punch, but you can use any Tag Topper Punch. I made the little tag with, with one of these dies from the Ornate Frames die set using the Itty Bitty Greetings. This is a, this one actually has two, it's, it's a set of two. So there's all kinds of greetings in this stamp set. And I chose the With Gratitude. And then um, you're going to need some adhesive, a paper cutter, and I also find that this Tombow Multi Liquid Glue comes in handy. And then some Stampin' Dimensionals, the foam dots that you use to raise your images or punches up on. So start with a piece of cardstock. In this case, it's Cajun Craze. And this is eight and a half by two. Now you can cut, uh, you can score several of them at the same time if you know you're going to make more than one, and that comes in handy. So this is eight and a half by two. You score at three and three quarters and four and three quarters. And then you take the tag topper punch and simply punch out the top. Now we have se several tag topper punches that would uh, work out beautifully for this project or you can round them or punch your own hole in them but uh, this just works out nicely so that's all you need for the base now the d designer paper is six and a half by one and three quarters and don't worry about the measurements. I'll put them in the description. You're going to score this six and a half by one and three quarters at one and a quarter, two and a quarter, four and a quarter, and five and a quarter. So use your paper trimmer or your scoring tool to do that. And then you have this piece to wrap around to keep the little tag intact as a box. So now all you want to do is attach the middle, the two inch portion, which is the middle of this to your tag. I just use some uh, regular adhesive. And you want to put it on the top section about a fourth of an inch above the crease. So really easy, about a quarter inch above the crease, just that middle section. And it doesn't matter if it's exact. Okay, now you have a piece that looks like this, a T. So now you're just gonna turn it over and you can either attach it without the hand sanitizer inside or with it inside because it, it fits through the top. 
So I found that it's easier to go ahead and put the hand sanitizer inside because that way it gives me a more firm surface to press the adhesive up against. And I also found that with this uh, humid North Carolina climate that the pieces were kind of coming apart with just that light adhesive. So you could use tear and tape, red line tape, anything. But I found that I've, if I put a little Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue on it, that it held firm. So just put your hand sanitizer in there and line it up square. Put one side about a fourth of an inch from the bottom like you did the other. And with a hand sanitizer in there, you can just press firmly. Okay, then all you have to do is pull up the other side, line it up, and do the same thing. They go together quickly and easily, that's for sure. Okay, and there you have it. There's your basic hand sanitizer holder. You can decorate it any way you want. I put about six inches of ribbon in it with the tails coming from the back to the front. And you might need your stylus or pokey tool or something to help you get those in there. And then just run it through the loop like you normally would a ribbon. And that way you have your tab in the front. Then all you have to do is trim it. See how quickly that came together? Decorate it any way you want, with or without a sentiment. I happen to have some sprigs hanging around from another project that I did, and these are cut out from the um, celebration label set. And I already had them cut out, so I went ahead and tucked them in the corner. I mounted the sentiment on dimensionals and put it down next. And then I simply added a little bit of our multi-purpose liquid glue here, the Tombow, to the little sprig and tucked it in the corner. Then I happen to have some sequins left over from um, one of my paper pumpkin kits. So I went ahead and added some gold sequins. This is one of our half stamp cases. It comes in handy for holding our embellishments. So then all I did was add a couple of these. I added three because they say you should add an odd number of embellishments. Okay. That's actually going to help cover up the little blob of glue. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or need any help, just let me know. You can find all these products at my online store at jeanaddis.stampinup.net or visit my blog for more, for more crafty inspiration at jeanspaperjewels.com. So thanks for joining me. Bye.